I've completely solved the problem. Uh, what are you talking about? Close your eyes. Pretend you're overlooking a train track. Imagine a train racing past, faster than any train you've ever seen. Now, I want you to imagine, as the train is flying past, two lightning bolts crashing beyond the tracks at the same time, a hundred meters apart. So what? Patience. Now imagine that you're standing in the middle of the train during the exact same scenario. Would the lightning bolts be simultaneous? Of course. Not if light moves at one speed. Close your eyes. Oh, but this is ridiculous. Put yourself back on the moving train and really think about it. Do it, Michele. <laughs> now watch the lightning bolts. Were they simultaneous to you? No! Because you were moving towards one and away from the other. <laughs> Standing still, they were simultaneous. How could the two of us experience the same event differently? Well, we couldn't. Unless... It's not Maxwell who gets it between the eyes. It's Newton. What are you saying? Time is not absolute. <laughs> Holy hell. I'm writing the paper, Michaela. I dare them to ignore it. <laughs>